So in this example here, we've been given some coordinates. So I'm just going to start with these coordinates. So f of negative 3 equals 8, f of 9 equals negative 6, and f of 2 equals 1. And I'm going to draw those coordinates in. So negative 3, positive 8, positive 9, negative 6, and 2 and 1. We're going to have a point there. Okay, so that's our starting point. I'm going to look at the first derivative at negative 3. This first derivative is equal to 0. And I also know that the concavity at that point is going to be, uh, looks like that concavity is negative. Okay, so it's going to be concave down through there. At x equals 2, at x equals 2, it looks like that point has zero concavity. It doesn't tell us anything about the slope, but it has zero concavity. And at x equals 9, we have zero slope. Okay, so that's going to, we know that's either a min or max. It tells us the concavity through that point is positive, so that is a minimum point. So we know that's going to be a min. So we have a max, min, and the concavity at x equals the so at x equals two, that concavity is zero, so that is an inflection point. So to sketch this graph in then we know we have negative concavity through here, max. We know it switches concavity here to from negative to positive. That's a min, and then it's gonna go up like that. So it looks like uh, potentially a polynomial function. 